From saving on child care costs to eliminating the morning drive, working at home does have its perks. And if you're watching, you might be doing just that at home right now. Uh, it does come with several challenges, too. We have Nikki Tro Trojanowski with Indie Moms Blog here with me this morning. Thanks for coming in. Absolutely. You're going to share some tips that you've learned on your own yes. as well. Um, this isn't exactly something that I have the option to do. No. Um, I've tried to say, hey, I could Skype from home and work from home. They said no. I they, can't they, believe they, it. They said no to that. So. <laughs> So, um, not in high definition, right. I guess. That's probably the only reason. Um, so, what do you want to start with? Um, you talk about your environment. Right? Yes, and I think the most important thing, whether you have child care or if your children are home with you while you're working, is to give your home some slack. So, one big difference of working at home is that your living environment is your working environment. So, it's kind of like your to-do list is staring you in the face all day. So, you've got the laundry over here, haven't vacuumed in a few days. Try to just cut yourself some slack and eliminate all of the outside things that are coming to mind that you want to do and really focus on work when you can. That has always been the first thing I've brought up to people when I talk to them about working at home. I was like, I don't know because I would always have squirrel moments. Oh, yeah, I'll have to go do this or, or it's hard. try to say, well, I have five minutes. I could try this. Well, and if you have five minutes, by all means, take it. I think one of the best things when I was working from home is that you can throw in the laundry and just move things a little bit yeah, forward okay. without like, I'm gonna stop and vacuum the upstairs, which is gonna take a lot of time. Just get little things done while keeping your mind focused as you can. What about keeping the schedule flexible in other ways that, you know, because sometimes you can really mold it around what you're needing to do, say with your kids. Right, exactly. So if your kids are home with you, or even if they're at school and you know they're gonna get home at 3, 3.30, try and prioritize tasks based on when their schedule allows. So for example, if you have a a really important phone call or conference call you want to do that when they're probably not around right mm -hmm. and everyone knows what these tasks are that they can or cannot accomplish with their kids for me it's writing I cannot write because it takes so much focus when my kids are around so I have to save that for times when you have child care or utilizing non-traditional work hours is another tip that I like mm. to um, use so if you work from home that's great but maybe know that you might be working after the kids are in bed or after a spouse comes home from work or something like that, just keeping the options open to get a little bit more out of the traditional work day. I mean, we start our work day at 2 a.m. Right. I'm just saying. Yeah. So <laughs> you do that. Do that no. right? <laughs> um, you say to have realistic expectations. Yes. What do you mean by that? So don't, if you've never worked from home with your children or even without your children, make sure that you don't take too much on. Or if you have an employer who has agreed to this situation with you, make sure that you're on the same page. If you're going to have your kids around, I, I know my kids require some work. They don't just sit there quietly sure. and, unless they're watching a lot of TV. <laughs> um, so you want to make sure that you're not taking on too much work, that you're setting unrealistic expectations for yourself, and you're going to have goals that you can never really achieve due to that. That makes sense. Yeah. Have you ever tried or had success leaving the house, like going to a library or something? To I do think work? that's a great thing. Obviously, if your kids are home, you might not be able to do that. Although some places, I would say you can, such as the library. I think that Indianapolis has great libraries libraries that have really nice sections for the kids and really nice work environments as well. So do that if you can. If you do have child care, it's great to get out of the house as well. Maybe work at a Starbucks, work at a local yeah. coffee shop, and just get your mind out of the house environment. Otherwise, it's just a lot of time at home. You're going to need Wi-Fi, so there Absolutely. are plenty of places with Everyone it. Everyone does, though, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> Nikki, thank you. This is yeah. really good, helpful advice for people and maybe sure. inspiration for those thinking, well, maybe this is yeah. something I want to try. Wonderful and perk. It's manageable. So find her blog. It's on Indie Mom's blog. We always have the information on wishtv.com as well, and you can read even more about it. So thanks for coming in. Absolutely. We're going to have more daybreak.